Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Crystal Code Keepers of the Sovereign Legion of Light. As planet goddess Venus is brightest tonight in the night sky, she is being flooded and filled with the higher dimensional energetics from the great central sun, Hunabku, through Solaris as the codes and frequencies reach Mother Earth tomorrow on the 10th. We are prepared and ready for the next stage and phase of this ascension process we call the Green Ray Cycle. The sacred lands of the almighty I Am Presence living directly through the vortex of the divine heart chakra. The yellow rose, the gold dragon, and the blue elephant met today to plan and complete the final phases for the birthing of the new earth. As the acceleration of consciousness through this quickening goes into hyperspeed, we have the slowing down of transformation as we go deeper into the compression preparing us for the breakthrough as we quantum leap into the full consciousness of Homo Luminous, light beings of eternal life made manifest. The kingdom of God is at hand as we are all walking each other home through the sacred path with heart. The queen's chamber within all starseeds is activating the original blueprints of the earth angelic nation of awakened and conscious wayshores of the paradisical lands of the new Lemuria. The magical Orca visited me to transmit to you the energies of love, joy, bliss, and freedom. Feel the stream of Orca awareness deep within your still center. Allow the bliss to flow from your center out through your meridians, flooding your sacred vessel with infinite love and grace. As the cosmic consciousness of every living sentient beings of the one true light of the Christos becomes activated, we bridge the Nawal with the Tonal to work directly with the great mystery Wakantanka. The eagle and the condor continue to hold and anchor the Heros Gamos codes for all humanity. It is time to merge the two hemispheres of yin and yang within. The fire and water paths merge to bring this mission to finalization and fruition. Keep letting go and releasing as we continue to go through and through and through for our supernova expansion of the rainbow diamond body of indestructible light. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor, leave a comment below and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. Let's continue to spread the love, the light, and the gnosis for this great awakening. And with these massive energies coming in, we had many earth changes and activations. We had massive flooding today in South America, Colombia, as Mother Earth continues to purge and cleanse. Our prayers, love, and blessings go out to all our people suffering due to these great earth changes. Another sign in the heavens for what's coming this way, 40 of the SpaceX satellites were annihilated by this gamma plasma electrical wave heading to Earth. This energy is going to assist Gaia and all her children in this great ascension process. We also had many activations all over this realm with 126 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours. The most powerful today on the Ring of Fire with a 5-0 Tonga. Earlier today, Homer, Alaska in the Crown of Lemuria, 3-0 Chile, South America, just north of the Tropic of Capricorn. We had a 4.7. Chechnya, Russia, 4.4. Divine 44 energy. South of Fiji Islands, 4.6. And then another 4.6-10-10 portal. First portal to my sacred condor. Very deep, 519 and 502 kilometers. Then the most powerful... 50 Tonga, this was at 1356 UTC. Peru, South America, Andes Mountains, Kundalini, Pachamama, 47. Papua New Guinea, we had another 50. This was at 
1438 UTC. Papua New Guinea, we had another 50555 portal. Fifth dimensional energy coming in, 56 kilometer depth. Homer, Alaska, another activation in the crown, 34, 36 kilometer. Japan, we had a 4.3. Puerto Rico, 32. Japan, 46. Tonga, another powerful 4.8. 306 kilometer depth. In the sacred portal of Italy, we had two powerful activations, 4.2 and a 4.7. Tonga, another 4.7. Indonesia, 4.6, 64 kilometers depth, mirror of the matrix. Japan, 4.2, 4.1. Indonesia, 4.2. In the root chakra of Pachamama, we had two activations. In South Sandwich Islands, we had two five zeros right in a row that's four five point oh earthquakes today southern mid-atlantic ridge we had a four eight twelve divine goddess south of fiji four point three another very deep activation five hundred and twenty seven kilometers then ending again in the crown aleutian islands four point three seven of creation as together we co-create the new heaven upon the new earth with our divine will and our pure intent as we live fully in eternal bliss consciousness namaste let us continue with the sabian symbols right now the moon is at eight degrees 24 minutes gemini the sun is at 21 degrees 22 minutes aquarius 222 portal the current sabian symbol for the sun at 22 degrees aquarius a rug placed on a floor for children to play on, and the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 9 degrees Gemini, a quiver filled with arrows, from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck Moonology from Yasmin Boland, and the card she pulled for you today, another very powerful card. Here we go, full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. I don't know if we need any more signs of what's coming. It's time to see if you've been a little bit too much me, me, me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level you've created this situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming, and it could be fiery. Attune to the moon. Be nice, be kind. Smile and be polite as you navigate to where you want to be. Additional meanings for this card. Being assertive is good, just don't ride roughshod over anyone. If you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace. Don't be a baby. Sorry, but this could be the issue. You need to have more fun. The teaching. The full moon in Aries is a super fiery time when emotions can run very high. On the upside, there's excitement about what may lie ahead, but tempers are likely to flare with rash comments or decisions. No matter when you pull this card, it signals that the situation has just or is about to come to a peak, perhaps in a rather heated way. There could be a price to pay if you have been too competitive or too blunt. And today from Divine Bro, Thor of the Light, Michael Love. The Earth Alliance, super light streaming into Earth. A Pleiadian Light Forces space weather broadcast to the star seeds of Earth. Great one, here we go again as another powerful solar blast is about to impact the planet. Energy levels on the surface will begin rising sharply tonight as this latest light wave enters Earth's atmosphere. Members of the Earth Alliance measured this super blast as a moderate M-class flare because of the energy built up in the wave over a three-hour period after it left the sun. The Enlil spiral magnetic sector chart shows a massive and severe wave of light headed straight for Earth measuring in the M category which will make impact tomorrow afternoon. We can tell you that activity levels on the sun have recently entered a super elevated stage and there is much more going on here than meets the eye. The Earth Alliance says inside solar and cosmic data 
tell an entirely different story than what 3D humanity is allowed to access, and there is certainly a degree of matrix censorship occurring in regards to space weather data and news. Just a few Earth days ago, a massive incoming solar storm totally disabled and destroyed 40 SpaceX communication satellites and several other important Earth satellites in a matter of seconds. Also, just 72 hours ago, a record-breaking X-level flare blasted off the backside of the sun that created an unbelievable shockwave and halo that was almost twice the size of the sun. The Earth Alliance says if this blast had been turned Earth-facing, it would have completely turned off the 3D matrix. The Pleiadians say it's only a matter of time when the heavenly bodies are aligned just right and one of these huge flares directly impacts planet Earth. You see, this is exactly how the story ends as the old control matrix is shut down for good by a super flare, causing conscious communities to come together globally to form the new Earth. Light forces are very aware that after 26,000 years, a grand solar flash is due to occur in Earth's solar system, which will completely elevate the consciousness of humanity and transport Earth into the new golden age. Great one. Energy levels are going to rise around the planet over the next 72 hours, and moderate space weather watch and tectonic plate watch is in effect for tomorrow when this powerful light wave will impact. Starseed Ascension symptom reports have been off the charts over the last two weeks, and there is no sign of this letting up. As we communicated with light leaders from around the world this morning, we experienced an incredible level of excitement emanating from each one because we all know the great time of planet Earth is at hand. This is why starseeds came to this world. Our great work on Earth has been to receive and hold large amounts of light in our bodies, anchoring a higher vibration to the Earth grid until humanity is able to hold this light for themselves. We came to transform the energy of this world back towards goodness, freedom, abundance, and peace for all beings here. We are the forces of light that cover the entire earth. We are many and we are legion. We are all here now with humanity. We are watching and waiting as a new day dawns on earth. Dear one, magnificent light has indeed come to this world, and after 450,000 years of darkness here, the great sun is rising over the horizon to return this world to the paradise it was always meant to be. During this incredible time, be sure to eat light energy foods and drink lots of pure water right over the next two days. Be in nature to ground, meditate an hour, and keep those crystals nearby to channel the energy through your body and into the earth. Most of all, when the light comes, it's best to just stop everything and rest for a moment to allow this powerful and divine energy to integrate into the cells of the body. Brace for impact and stand by for a super DNA activation. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing at this time. Godspeed, Michael and the Pleiadians from 5dearthproject.com And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Christina Morichetti, Orion Matrix Collapsing, many are observing their related polarities. We have the possibility to go deeper into it and expand our sacred heart more and more. Since 2 2 through 2 3 2022, galactic timelines opening, Orion planet visible in the holographic fields, Orion matrix, polarities collapsing, creating a ripple effect inside of us, and we are projecting many things outside in our reality, recreating old belief systems. Going deeper into it, we can observe many ego programs related to old galactic timelines, fear, rage, manipulation, abuse of power, disconnection from source, but also our divine and galactic power, and how to reopen, reactivate our sacred heart. It's a deep, deep healing process. The cycle of duality will continue on forever until we can achieve true completion. With love, Christina. And from Divine Angel of the Light, Vrinda, 888 Freedom Earth. 444, Earth purging what does not serve her highest good. Everything will be brought to light to work with light. 144, coming in. Now Earth will purge all, even from deepest hiding into bright light. Light, light everywhere, glory. 
White light taking over all timelines. Last six hours, we are in solar flare C class. Solar wind speeds nearly 650 kilometers a second. That is strong. We are celebrating already. Great solar flash. Last night, epic light work joined by galactic team. We anchored tons of energies from the great central sun to end all dark agenda. Victory, freedom, power to the people. I can't tell you how ecstatic we are right now. Transmission of most powerful energies to you beautiful family of light. Take this energy, breathe it in, let it empower you for eternity, from us to you. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Jonathan Shalimar, Dear Travelers of the Stars, My name is Jonathan Shalimar. I've lived at the mystical Mount Shasta, California for 37 years. There's our code 37 into 73, Heaven on Earth. And I have had many encounters with a number of different star races, mainly Arcturians with Pleiadian, Lyran, and a few others. I have a deep memory of ancient times both on Earth and in the stars. One of the things I do in Mount Shasta is produce many different kinds of events. I also work with a group of beings called the Celestials. A few days ago I received a download at a very powerful place next to the mountain called Mikael Mary Mandala. I share it with you now. I look forward to sharing with many of you luminous beings. Are you one of the 144 who remembers this event? I was at the sacred Mikael Mary Mandala yesterday, and in the midst of all the ship activity, Arcturians, I was given this download by the Celestials. Beloved children of an ancient dawn, we come to you this day to remind you of a promise made during the last days of Mu, the motherland. As you watch the gathering storm of war quickly approaching, and the emerald jewel of balance and harmony that once sat upon the land upon which you now stand, a gift from the Arcturians, was taken by the Council of Nine deep into the subterranean tunnel, leading to the great cavern underneath the crown jewel of light, Mount Shasta. A hundred forty-four of you vowed to return to witness and be a part of the full reactivation of the celestial jewel, which combined with the other acupuncture power points upon the planet, and energized by planets within the celestial realms, will create, at last, the sacred grid of the Christos, and help to usher in the great golden age, the likes of which creation has never experienced before. We ask you now to remember when you walked upon this land when it was an island, an outpost of Lemuria. The emerald crystal of such beauty, radiance, and splendor sat upon the land, bringing balance and harmony to all of life. For many thousands of years was there harmony among all creatures. One day the Council of Nine arrived with an urgent message to prepare the tunnels and build a great city under the mountain. For time was running out and soon the alliance of the Atlanteans and the dark space beings would come to wage war. Then the emerald crystal was taken by the Council of Nine deep into the vast cavern underneath the mountain, where it would lie dormant for 37,000 years. During this time, the Arcturians would watch over and protect the crystal. This is the main reason that they are seen and felt so often here. In February of 2017, the Arcturians came to prepare the crystal for its reactivation. This required them to be inside the mountain for ten days. They were also preparing and opening the channels that connected to all of the other sacred sites upon the planet. Between December 2019 and 2020, there was a trinity of solar eclipses, and with the help of Archangel Raphael, Healing Symphony, the reactivation of the crystal began. Then the energy from the emerald jewel started slowly to rise, gaining strength and radiance until it would reach the apex of the sacred mountain on 4-4-2022 at 4.44 p.m. On 3-31-22, three planets from the celestial realms, eighth dimension will align their energies with Mother Earth and particularly Mount Shasta and all of the other acupuncture points. This will cause a symphony of such beauty that the Earth herself and all living things upon her will vibrate like a tuning fork being struck. 
Each day another celestial planet will add its energy. 4122 ninth dimension, 4222 10th dimension, 4322 11th dimension, 4422 12th dimension. Through the presence of the seven Elohim and the prayers of the ones gathered at the sacred Mikael Mary Mandala, the mystical stone will shine a ray of emerald blue light and connect with the other power points on the planet, forming the great grid of the Christos and causing the veils of darkness to lift, ushering in the great golden age. We now ask you to go inside your heart and feel if there is a knowing within your soul to be present during this auspicious event, because you were one of the 144 souls present when the light was diminished, and you promised to return when a new light and a new age was born. Selah from AwakenWithinTheDreamProductions.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Jewel, Yi, Ushmal, Pyramid of the Magician, carries a powerful feminine energy that is often called City of Kindness of Mother Moon. The temple city contains numerous decorative structures where women were educated to be priestesses and handed down sacred knowledge so they may teach it to the next generations of future priestesses. Legend also has it that Ushmal was a cosmic city that descended from the fourth dimension to amaze the eyes of humankind. The city of Ushmal has come to be known as a place whose people attain high levels of spiritual knowledge and develop poetry, dance, and other arts. You can connect to this beautiful temple, Ushmal, with your sacred heart center. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Camila Akerstrom, Beloveds, we are walking the bridge between the new and the old. We are being served many echoes from the old and an invitation to do a final release and completion. You are ready to start living from the highest potential version of yourself, to reignite your soul's original blueprint, to embody your fullness. It is so important for us to stay on track, hold our focus of our vision and stand in our light, no matter what is showing up for us. It can be easy to get off track and lose your own sovereign space with everything that is coming into completion. I know that many of you have been doing so much work for a long time and yet feel that there is still something missing, that it is difficult to embody and sustain the high level of consciousness that you may receive from an activation or meditation. There may be a feeling of looping in stories and mindsets or self-destructive patterns. It doesn't matter how much more work you do if it is not within the new healing modalities and systems because so many of the known healing structures are within the old, linked into the systems of domination and control, the first rift in consciousness. So, beloveds, it is time to say goodbye to the old versions of ourselves and anchor fully into the new. It is absolutely vital to correct any reversals, extract any implants, and deprogram any conditioning still within your system. As you move through this deep process of healing, clearing, and activating, remember that everything that is happening in this now moment is in divine order. It is helping to birth our new visions, and it can all be done in ease and grace. When we take action steps in the world, we are sending out a big message to the universe and to the quantum field of creation. We set energy into motion and send it out to the universe to correspond to. The corresponding of this energy can affect our immediate future. If our intent is weak, then our energy will send out as weak and the response the same. If we put a strong, directed, specific energy in motion, the corresponding will also be strong. Remember, too, that the universe, the universal field of creation, is responding to what you need, which is not always what you want. Trust the process, beloveds. Let it be simple. God is simple. Let go of the old and give yourself fully to all that you are here to be. From CamillaMara.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. The gears are turning in the mind. You're finding the key that kept you desolate. You figure this out on your own with spirit. It's becoming easier to decide what aligns with your truth 
and what are deal breakers. This provides the direction needed for you to move forward with these choices you've made. Mind-heart balance is occurring as we approach the Leo full moon. This may cause ascension symptoms, especially in the third eye and pineal gland. You're clearing the mind of the blocks that were in the way of your union. Revelations are helping you reassess relationships, contracts, and commitments. You're ready to honor the Divine Feminine Christ and only accept the best for her. Mary Magdalene is with you helping you take the lead and achieve this goal. The Beloveds are together as a team to complete the heart healing and freedom from toxic relationships. The Masculine is providing the strength and energy for the Feminine to completely move on. It's important that you have overstanding of what caused this so you never repeat it again. You've got your armor of God on and are safe to reveal these truths to yourself and make the necessary changes. The energies from the Lion's Gate 2020 and 2021 are reappearing with this Leo full moon, helping you finish what you've started. This has been a long road of freeing yourself from being stuck and frustrated in relationships. You've always had the choice to remove yourself but lack the confidence to do so. Receive the divine assistance from Andromeda and the Sisterhood of the Rose to help you make these final changes with this powerful Leo full moon. Ezekiel 36.35 And they shall say, This land that was desolate is become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced or inhabited. In Jesus Christos name, God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Ceres enters Gemini, Sedna stations direct in Taurus. Once again, Ceres returns to Gemini, where she had an extended stay due to the retrograde action. She first traveled these degrees in August and September 2021. So until the end of March, we may find ourselves going over old ground. In Gemini, Ceres speaks of nurturing through education and conversation. Cultivate positive thinking patterns. Talk to your children. Talk to your neighbors and siblings. Nurture your curiosity. Feed yourself with the right information to make healthy choices. Ceres in Gemini is all about tending to our local communities, connecting with one another, offering support. Life flourishes when we share our stories. Sedna Stations Direct also draws our attention to deeper memories that may evoke bitterness and rage, collective anger. She is also the anger of the waters that run across the planet, poisoned, drained, blocked. If you're struggling, pour a glass of water, bless it, drink some, pour the rest onto the land. Donate to clean water initiatives or sign a petition. Visualize untangling Sedna's hair with gentle hands. Ceres and Gemini is a mother's hands. As you remember Sedna, you also remember the parts of yourself left wild and alone, abandoned in the deep. Reach for them, love them, speak words of comfort and healing to them. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from Harmonic Convergence 2020 through 2028, Venus and the Sun light up the golden section of the Zolkine. Venus has been increasing in brightness since her morning star emergence around January 21st through the 22nd, 2022, Keen 143 through 144, and today February 9th, NS 1.34.8.3, Keen 162 is marking her point of greatest brilliancy as we cross the golden section of the 260-day Zolkin matrix. Magnificent eruption of the sun lighting up Venus and the Earth. In another epic synchronization in time and space, according to spaceweather.com, the sun unleashed a spectacular double helix spiral eruption, infusing Venus with even more light. Magnificent eruption for days astronomers around the world have been monitoring, a colossal prominence dancing over the sun's southern limb. It just erupted, CME to hit Venus, then Earth. NASA analysts have modeled a CME that left the Sun on February 6th. It's going to hit Venus, then the Earth. 
The Venus impact on February 9th will not cause a geomagnetic storm. The Earth impact on February 10th will play out differently. Our planet's magnetic field will intercept the CME, preventing it from reaching the atmosphere below. Reverberations from the impact could spark a G1-class geomagnetic storm with high-latitude auroras spilling out over the Arctic Circle. Earth-Venus synchronization Today is a great opportunity to remember that the next Venus-Earth external conjunction marking the preamble to Venus emergence as evening star will take place on October 22, 2022 on Keen 157 Red Magnetic Earth, synchronizing in a masterful way by 260 days with the celestial light show that is taking place during the current Red Earth wave spell. Time is art. And from 13 moon peace time, galactic hawk moon of integrity, moon 8. Galactic integrity is the capacity to maintain consistency of form and purpose, with the greater whole of which we are evolving part, in this case the galaxy. When we see a picture, for instance, of the Andromeda galaxy, one of our closest galactic neighbors, we are struck by the perfection of its form, its luminous core, and its spiraling arms elegantly maintain a consistency of structure over billions of years. What an example! It maintains this integrity by harmonizing itself with its inner parts and functions. When we are given such an example, it is our duty to model ourselves in a similar way, by becoming in harmony with all our internal organs, senses, and physical extensions. During this moon, we learn that being in harmony with ourselves and to live in integrity is also to model peace. This moon's totem animal is the hawk. The hawk is one of the most noble and notable of birds. One of its characteristic powers is its ability to catch a vortex in the wind and spiral ever higher on the vortex until it's virtually out of sight. No wonder some people revere this bird as a mystic messenger, capable of maintaining its integrity of form and purpose through the most elegant and economical of means. In its spiraling power, it is intimately connected with the spiraling arms of the galaxy, hence galactic hawk moon of integrity. Noah's letter number 7, lawoftime.org Cosmic history quote for moon 8, day 3 the cosmos appears differently according to the level of perception and intelligence that a particular organism or entity might be evolved to. From 13moonpeacetime.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 162, White Rhythmic Wind. Rhythmic is the name for the number 6 and its keywords are balance, organize, and equality. This is the sixth day of the Red Earth Wave Spell. Day 6 is all about getting organized and sorting out your life. Take care of bills, housework, shopping. To be balanced, one must walk the talk and take care of business at the same time. We are spiritual beings, of course, but with a body and a life that needs to be taken care of. Being practical is an important grounding ritual that frees up your mind for more interesting things, so get it done. Today is white wind and its keywords are communication, spirit, and breath. Today is the perfect day for organizing communication. Send a letter, organize a protest, hold a meeting or facilitate a workshop. Think about how your life could be better organized and think about how better you could express your needs. Connecting to spirit is another aspect of the white wind. Write a message on a piece of paper and put it under your pillow or say it out loud. Spirit hears your messages, but sometimes you have to speak up. The guide today is also the white wind, and so a double helping. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Christina Papa Giorgio, White Rhythmic Wind, 6 Eek, Keen 162, 9th of February 2022, Balancing Breath, A Breath of Fresh Air, 9-2-2022 equal 9-2-6 equal 9-8 equal 17 equal 8. Day codes 9, destiny, service, endings, humanity, grace. 17, immortality, legacy. 8, abundant, infinite source flow. Month year codes 2, twins, partners, cooperation, alliances. 6, heaven, Christ, family, romance, fertility. 8, infinite, abundant source flow. 20, the awakening, clear vision. 
22 architect of peace, master builder, keen 162 equal 9, divine destiny, 99 double destiny. Today's code is a super powerful double dose of guidance from spirit, seeking to bring more balance into our world. Keen 162 is a very potent influence blowing directly from the pearly gates today. Day 6 in the Red Earth Wave Spell of Evolution, through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicities, and earth magic, flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia. Today we are listening, communicating, and breathing life and spirit into our physical bodies in order to organize for greater balance in our physical realities. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone 6 in the physical realm. Action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all-adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Today is a great day to find balance in your physical reality, body, by using your breath to clear and balance any energetic blocks in your body and our world in order to come into greater alignment with spirit. A great day for yoga, qigong, walking, dancing, singing, and playing wind instruments. Today we are organizing our physical reality for greater balance and equality. A fantastic day for spring cleaning and feng shui, decluttering your house, space, organizing your office, channeling ideas, journaling, or reflecting on your desires and dreams. It is time to allow your dreams to surface and flow through you, bringing them forth into your physical reality. Today's question is how can I allow the breath of spirit to flow through me, bringing more balance and equality into my life and world? Am I willing and able to become a divine conduit for spirit? Divine blessings for brilliant revelations today, through channeling spirits messages. In la catch a la keen, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 162, White Rhythmic Wind. The mantra, the code for today is I organize in order to communicate. Balancing breath, I seal the input of spirit. With a rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of manifestations, activations, and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world, you can do so with a monthly pledge on our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Mariana Boriana, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister of the Light. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal link at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Vincennes Spaeth, for your purchase on our website of Guided Meditation. Thank you very much for your support, and enjoy the powerful meditation. You can purchase our teachings and trainings as individual modules on primedisclosure.com and click products at the top of the page. I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Anna Billings Weiss, for sending us your amazing, beautiful book. And thank you very much for including us and our teachings in this book and referencing my work and website. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. And you can purchase Anna's amazing book, Anna Billings Vice. Her book titled The Keys to Heaven, Remembering Who You Are. You can purchase this on Amazon. Congratulations, Divine Sister, and 
much abundance and prosperity to you. And I'd like to also thank our divine angels of the light, Vanessa and Chuck Slater, for sending us those beautiful gifts, amazing dragon drawing. I go back to that dragon many moons ago. I remember her well, and the condor and I love both of your drawings, the Eye of the Eagle, very powerful medicine. So thank you both very much. We appreciate you very much for this kind gifts. Now I'd like to thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light Sherry Wolf for your purchase today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. You can purchase my Sacred Condor's beautiful Zodiac Goddesses, Goddess Totems, Healing Jewelry, and other works of art at LunaGoddessArt.com. 414 coming in. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful code from the Zolkin and a powerful divine decree. Shared by Ed Toreta, the Zolkin. I am the high priestess, coded by the white wind. I enter your universe through the second gate of light. My number is two, challenge of the wind. As he travels in all directions, enjoying the power of the word. Let your tongue speak only glorious. It's my challenge to you, for I am the Lady of the Winds, guardian of the mental tunnels open through crystal song. From my crown my hair emerges, like the infinity crystal. I am the carrier of the spirit of prophecy, enjoying the energy of breathing by filling the body with vitality. The jewel of my forehead is the indestructible wisdom of illumination. Every thought of mine it is sent by divine decree. My command is always directed, only for your spiritual essence. Always listen to me when the wind blows, out of nowhere, source. And from Divine Sister of the Light Sandra Walter, Divine Decree, I am the resurrection of my sacred ascended consciousness. I am transcending duality, good and evil, and all illusion experienced in density. From ascensionpath.com. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful day. Be sure to keep us up to date on what you're experiencing as this powerful, high energy influx penetrates into the earth on the 10th. This will be on Thor's day. The power of the thunder beings coming in, activating us with their powerful Dorje Vajra powerful electrical current as our full electromagnetic potential is activated preparing us for this quantum leap of consciousness to homo luminous rainbow bodies of eternal light and eternal life keep walking gently your sacred path with heart with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night and be sure to make this the best day ever the eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.